Yarba was a number of years in the planning. We had this amazing site that was really, really close to the centre of town of Bury. And Bury itself was an extremely special place. And what we were trying to do was actually build something a bit different. A traditional retirement village is too constricting. We knew people wanted to downsize, but they didn't want to downgrade. So what we were really trying to do was actually let people downsize, but actually almost upgrade. It was a home that is extremely generous with private outdoor space. Uh, it was a home, every home at the Arbor actually looks out onto either an acreage view or it looks out onto a private park. And that was a critical element of it all in terms of creating privacy and creating a great sense of well-being in your home. The other thing we really wanted to do was embrace the sun. So um, a, a key design feature of the Arbor, uh, high soaring ceilings, uh, clear stories that actually face north and bring in tremendous and what they do is actually bring in great light in winter but they're designed so in summer that the eaves will actually block the sun coming in. So they keep you warm in winter, they keep you cool in summer, you can use vents to naturally cool your home uh, and it was a really important architectural feature of what we were doing. The cinema is one of the most popular things. Every Thursday night there's a, a cinema night. They occasionally have the chock tops, the jaffers have come out every once in a while and they show a movie, but it's very much a social gathering where people can just wander up, have supper, watch a movie. We did get a sense that too many people felt compelled to move. We've actually had a lot of people move to the Arbor who were never looking for a retirement village. They were just looking for a great house and that's regularly happened. Um, you know, we, we tend to actually market as just great homes to live in. It just so happens you've got all the support and security of having that retirement village around you as well. Um, and it's, you know, breaking that stereotype is one of our greatest challenges, but you only have to come here to do that. We really try and respect your privacy. We're there when you need us and we're not around when you don't so that you kind of feel that you've got your own space and you can do what you want to do. We actually are co-located with an aged care facility, which the reality is our ambition is for no one to go to that because it, honestly, in most cases, the houses are really well designed and if we can organise care and stuff for people then that works well. What I would suggest to people if you're interested, come to the Arbor, uh, have a look at the homes. We regularly, every four times a year at a minimum, we have a barbecue here where you can actually meet people who live here. We'll leave you in peace, we'll let you talk to those people and ask all those questions you maybe don't want to ask us off, off the bat and uh, it's a great way to just get an insight into what the place is like. And nearly everyone who moves in has been through that experience and so by the time they come to the Arbor, they already feel like they, they know the place and they feel at home, so which is great.